we're gonna go just with a little bit. Oh, that's more than enough, Larry Dale. Hey guys, I'm back today to tell you the no-nos of epoxy and do not take the shortcuts that I tried to do. This is a piece I'm doing right now. It is a pizza cutter and ice cream scoop, pair and match. And I took a couple of shortcuts on one of them and I'm paying the price now. This is the third time that I'm having epoxy it. Uh, I'm gonna be putting it on my uh, turner that I had built. A friend of mine built it for me and it's been very, very useful. So you can see the uh, no-nos that I just did and what not to do when I go through the detail. The problem with this handle was I tried to put less uh, epoxy on it to try to get it to set up quicker. I left a bunch of ripples in it. Uh, it was got kind of sticky and it took longer to dry. And, uh, first time I did it, I put a handprint on it and dripped some on it. So that made the second time I had to do it. And it definitely didn't turn out like the pizza cutter. So I'm having to do it for the third time. I'll show you, you need to keep it safe from epoxy and do not take shortcuts. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to mix up uh, our one-to-one -one, a tabletop epoxy, super clear. Uh, we're gonna do a, just a small dab of each because I'm gonna paint these uh, panel with it. We're gonna go just with a little bit. Ooh, that's more than enough, Larry Dale. I'm gonna have leftovers. Okay, that's our B. And this, remember this is a one-to-one -one ratio, uh, three-minute mix. Let's take our A here, which is thicker. Tabletop is thicker than uh, casting. A is in, and it's time to mix for three minutes. I don't use a scale, because I think one's heavier than the other. That's just my way of thinking. To me, I can't stand to make a mess up on this stuff. We got a three minute mix time. You mix your sides, you mix your bottom. This is so much fun. And enjoyable for me to do and you can see on the top here I have my molds that I use these are just regular mustard ketchup cups for you folks out there that like to try this uh, it's simple I buy them at Walmart take the top off get cast in epoxy put whatever I want in it make sure you put the right thing don't put marbles or nails or anything like that because you'll ruin your tool but wood pine cones shavings uh, it all goes together especially in epoxy and I have another piece of equipment uh, right here that I use when I do my epoxy and put my epoxy in my cup. It's a vibrator uh, that they do false teeth with, uh, believe it or not. And it shakes the epoxy down around all my wood and things like that. It really comes in handy to keep me from having bubbles or voids or honeycombs inside my product. I'm mixing the bottom, the sides, and my hand is cramped. No pigment going in this. Okay, we're gonna let this sit a second. Make sure the hands are clean. If you got some 91% alcohol, just use it. That's all I use in my shop. Wipe my gloves off, because I don't want epoxy all over everything. Most of the people you see on YouTube, they got epoxy all over. Okay, we're gonna put this on my turn. A good friend of mine built this, and it's built from a rotisserie off a barbecue pit. Works great. I like to take credit for it, but I can't do that. He's probably watching. Okay, I have a two-way rotator on this thing. That's the way I'm gonna go with it. I have a counterweight, because normally I turn two at a time, and they counterweight each other, but since I don't have but one, I have to put a counterweight on to keep it from flopping over. I'm doing a bigger mixing batch. I usually wear a mask. I wouldn't tell you not to wear one. I think you should, especially when you got a big batch going. You're gonna have bubbles coming up out of this stuff, and you really hate it. All right, you're going to see the next step. I'm going to let this sit for like a minute, then I'm going to torch it to get the air out of it, which I don't think there's any in it. You'll be doing the same thing on any tables, anything you use epoxy on, uh, you will be burning the uh, bubbles out of it. Uh, I say burning, you're not going to burn it, but you're going to just flash it. 
You don't want to flash too much on this because you'll flash it all off. Bingo. That's it. That's all it is, folks. You can do that. You can create something just really beautiful. This is bamboo with orange epoxy. It was poured in a ketchup cup, mustard cup, like I just showed you. Really, really simple to do. Uh, there's a few tricks that you need to know about the epoxy, putting it in there, and I'm willing to share that with you where most of them won't tell you all the small details till you mess up. This is gonna be a beauty. Thank goodness, I hope it's the last time. I'm gonna run out of epoxy.